This will be the first time I've seen this gun fire. My name is Corey Spradlin. I work for Air Vehicle Stores Compatibility 5166. We are at the Pax River Air 5168 firing tunnel. Today we are testing the Gunfire Control Center. Basically we're going to fire the M61A1 remotely from the Gunfire Control Center. This gun here we're seeing right here, this is M61A1, which is a heavyweight gun. The gun itself shoots 6,000 rounds per minute. It's hydraulically powered, 3,000 PSI at uh, about 50 gallons per minute. If the gun was actually sitting in an aircraft, there would be a panel door right here. You would open up the door, and this is what you'd see right here. You'd be able to load your ammunition right into this part right here. It's a six-barrel gun. It's 6,000 rounds per minute is 100 rounds per second. It's a very fast gun, very dependable gun. It's been around forever. The, the, the M61 itself has been around since the 1950s. It's a, a well-proven system. Uh, the F-18 system in itself is kind of unique because it's on a pallet. You can take the entire gun system out of the aircraft, which makes removal installation uh, extremely easy. It makes access to the gun system very, very easy. And um, when you consider the number of rounds that we fire through this in a given period of time, it, it's a very robust system. All we are looking for today is for the gun to actually fire. Right here we have the digital AstroMed strip chart. From this it will record the hydraulic clearing, firing, and trigger voltages so that we can tell if it's actually working like a regular gun would. To initiate the firing sequence, we will insert the gun key and turn it counterclockwise. We will then flip the master arm switch up. When the firing officer deems it ready to fire, he will then hit a button outside and we can see the green light in here. We will have a countdown. The test conductor will pull the trigger. So by use of this system that we're testing today, we can save money by not actually having to have an aircraft out here, which is several thousand dollars per hour, the personnel to bring it out here. Also, if we do bring an aircraft, we don't have to power the system up, but we can just plug and play using this new gunfire control center. It's going to benefit the fleet by easier testing of the gun systems, and hopefully soon we're going to be able to test multiple gun systems. We can help to mitigate the problems, we can help to come up with solutions to change a system to give them better performance and a little bit better product.